This video is brought to you by Play Your Court. All right, so the Miami draw is out, and we are going through the withdrawals because uh, big names are playing this, but of course, big names are pulled out. A lot of Grand Slam champions. So let's go to the withdrawal. So here are the big names that are out of this tournament. We've got Djokovic. He's obviously pulled out, can't get into America. Duckworth's pulled out. Better is not playing. Kranovic is out, Molkan is out, Nadal obviously pulled out, even if he hadn't uh, got injured in uh, Indian Wells, he was still not going to play this. Uh, Nishikori's out, Team is also out, uh, but also we have a couple of other names that are out of this tournament. And Duha, he's also pulled out, Avashka has also pulled out. So a couple of other names there, not playing this event, but there are still some big names playing, so let's go and have a look at the have a look at the draw. We have Medvedev up the top, he's the number one seed. We got uh, 32 seeds in this one, buys in the first round for all of the top 32. Uh, Medvedev awaits the winner of Del Bonas versus Murray. So Murray Medvedev could be a second round matchup, very fun there. Then you got Martinez versus Struff. Winner of that plays Garen, the 27th seed in the second round. Uh, then you got Basilashvili. He awaits the winner of Brooksby and Coria. We're going out in the first round. Uh, then we got Baez versus Madrizak. Winner of that plays Batista Agu in the second round. So Medvedev, Batista Agu, same part of the draw. That's a tough draw for Medi if he if he gets that far. Uh, I think the first few rounds he should get through, but I mean Batista Agu, that is not a fun draw for Medi. Next part of the draw, next uh, section of the draw, you've got Shapovalov. He's going to play the Harris or Bagnus in the second round. Harris versus Chapo. That is a tough match for Chapo. Uh, watch out for that. Then you've got two qualies going at it. Winner of that qualified battle will play Dan Evans in the second round, the 24th seed. Then you've got the 29th seed, Karatev. He will take on either Berene or Umber in the second round. Jared versus Rindernick. Winner of that plays the defending champion, who will be Hercatch, number eight seed. So Hercatch and Karatev, that's a tough third round for the defending champ. And then you've got uh, Shapo versus Hercatch as well in the fourth round, maybe. Uh, and then, of course, this part of the draw takes on Medi's part of the draw. So Medvedev versus Hercatch, Medvedev versus Shapo, uh, Hercatch versus RBA, uh, Karatsev versus RBA. I mean, there's a lot of combinations you can have. Then you've got the next section of the draw. We've got Sidney Pass. He'll play the Altmaier or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got uh, Songa versus Thompson. Winner of that match takes on Dimonor, the 25th seed in the second round. Popperin versus Musetti. Winner of that will take on Marin Cilic, the 21st seed in the second round. Uh, Fucevic versus Giron. Winner of that will take on the number 14 seed, Elkarez, in the second round. So Elkarez, Cilic, third round. That's fun. Elkarez, Sidney Pass is the match that we're all waiting for, though. That is the matchup that we all want to see. We saw it, five sets of it in the US Open. We want to see it again uh, in Miami. So that could be the fourth round. Uh, excited for that one. Then you've got the Indian Wells champion, Fritz. He gets a buy in the first round. Number 11 seed. He will take on either a qualifier or Van der Zandschulp in the second round. Then you've got Paul versus Bonzi. Winner of that plays the number 23 seed, Hashinov, in the second round. Then you've got Ramos Vanolas, the 32nd seed. He will play the quarter or Fakina in the second round. So Seb Quarter. Definitely a player to watch out for. He could, here's a good draw. He could get to the third round play FAA. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, then you've got a qualifier versus Kecminovic. Winner of that plays the number seven seed, Felix Oje Eliasim. So, quarter FAA. I like that matchup. And of course, Fritz FAA or Fritz versus Hashinov. Uh, sorry, Fritz, uh, Fritz versus um, quarter or Eliasim versus Hashinov. There's a lot of combinations there. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Rublev. He gets a buy in the first round, number five seed. He'll take either Kyrgios or Manorino in the second round. That sucks. That sucks for Rublev. Uh, not, especially against Keegs. You don't want to play Kyrgios in, the, in this kind of tournament. Uh, then we've got two qualifiers playing. Winner of that play is number 31 seed, Panini, in the second round. Uh, then you've got Krino Busta, the 17th seed. He'll take on either uh, Bay, uh, Bayana or Goffan in the second round. Uh, then you've got Cressy versus Rusevori. Winner of that match takes on Yannick Sinner, the number 9 seed, in the second uh, so you can see there, Rublev versus Sinner. But I think the biggest thing is, where, how far can Kyrgios go? If Kyrgios beats Rublev, Kyrgios makes the fourth round play Sinner. And if Sinner gets sick, then, I mean, again, he gets to the quarters. Kyrgios has a good draw if he can get through Rublev. Uh, then you've got Opelka, next section of the draw. You've got Opelka, the 16th seed. He'll take on either Serendolo or Grixpor in the second round. Then you've got Op versus Qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number 22 seed, Gael Monfils, in the second round. Uh, then you've got the number 28 seed, Tiafo, he takes on either Kwon or Nakashima in the second round. Then you've got uh, the other Serendolo taking on Lajevic. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Berrettini. Uh, Berrettini's got a tricky draw. I think the seeds are strongest in this section of the draw, or at least they're the most even 
Because Opelka, Monfils, Tiafo, uh, you know, could all probably beat Berrettini. I, I rate their chances. Um, uh, so this is the, probably the most, uh, like, this is the part of the draw that I think could be the, the most random. Uh, and it could get, you know, you could get Monfils or Tiafo getting through uh, to play against uh, the, the other section of the draw that has Rublev and Sinner in it um, in the quarterfinals. So uh, I don't expect uh, this draw, this part of the draw to be as easy as, uh, as just Berrettini winning. Uh, then we go to the next section, the bottom quarter of the draw, the top part of that quarter. Uh, you've got the number six seed, Rude, who will take on either Laxanen or Pear in the second round. Uh, then you've got a qualifier versus Millman. Winner of that takes on number 30 seed, Bublik, in the second round. Then you've got the number 20 seed, Isner. He'll take on either Nava or Gaston in the second round. Then you've got Draper versus Simon. Winner of that takes on Nori, the number 10 seed, in the second round. So, look, very good draw for Isner. He's played well here before. He's actually won Miami before. So I expect him to do well here. And I think, you know, with Bublik and Rude and Nori, who, in, I mean, Bublik, we, he's a bit of random sometimes. Rude on a hard court, on a fast hard court, or a faster hard court than Indian Wells. is probably going to struggle. And Isner's, Isner's the man for, my, for me in this part of the draw to make the quarters. So don't be surprised. John Isner might get through. And he's got a, he's got a nice second round. Uh, I can see either a wild card or Gaston, which is, I think, that's, that's winnable for sure for Isner. Bottom part of the draw now, we've got Schwartzman, 13th seed. He'll take on either a qualifier or Gas, uh, Gas Gay in the second round. Then we've got Zhang versus a qualifier. Winner of that takes on the number 19 seed, Sonego, in the second round. Then we've got Dimitrov, the 26th seed. He's going to play either McDonald or Kopfer in the second round. Then you've got Chorich taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Sasha Zverev in the second round. Some fun matchups in this one. Zverev Dimitrov. That's a fun one. Zverev's got a good draw, though. Uh, like, I rate his draw to the semifinals because, remember, this part of the draw takes on the Kasper Rude part of the draw. So we could, in the quarters, so we could be getting Isner versus Zverev, which is not fun for Zverev. And I believe that is the final from, like, 2018 or something. So they played, you know, not at this venue, but they played in this city a few years back in a final. So Isner versus Zverev could be the quarters. But again, the way Zverev's played this year, he could lose to Chorich in the second round. He could lose to Dimitrov. So I don't trust that he's going to do as well as his draw suggests, uh, unfortunately. But there's the draw. That is the draw for this one. Before we get back to the video, let me tell you about Play Your Court. We've teamed up with them this year, and they're a great service. You've probably seen some of their ads here and there around the internet. Uh, they're actually a great service for if you are a tennis player and you want to actually learn how to play tennis, uh, you can get coaching from them uh, anywhere in the US, or if you're just looking for somebody to have a hit with, that's one of the pet peeves I have with tennis is that it's hard to find a hitting partner unless you want to hit against a brick wall. So we've teamed up with them. If you use our link down below, playyourcourt.com slash tennis talk, you'll get 50% off your membership. So go check it out. Uh, it's a great resource. All right, now let's get back to the video. I like Rublev, uh, if you can get through Kyrgios. I think Berrettini has the toughest draw uh, based on, you know, seeds that are around him. Uh, I think Zverev's got a nice draw, but again, it's as nice as he makes it, really, because uh, he could easily lose in the second round to a qualifier, uh, especially because some of the qualities are a little bit dangerous, you know, Kevin Anderson, Kokonakis, all those guys. So uh, it's uh, Miami, without the GOATs, things get random, and I don't know who's going to win this. 